Hi guys, welcome to Shields Cooking. Today we're going to create a beautiful fissoise dish. A fissoise is a classic creamy soup that's mainly made from leeks, potato and onion. Many people think it's from France, but it's actually from New York and we're going to turn it into a delicious fine dining dish. So if you haven't done already, please hit that subscribe button to support my channel and hit that notification button to be sure that you don't miss any amazing cooking videos. So, let's begin. We're going to begin with the onion madeira gel. First, cut five onions in half and clean them. Then chop three of the onions. Now heat up a pan, add a splash of oil and caramelize the chopped onions on a medium heat. Meanwhile, transfer the remaining onions on a tray and toast the top with a blowtorch or do this on your gas stove. Once the onions are caramelized, add 200 grams of Madeira and reduce this till almost everything has vaporized. Then add 1 liter of water, the toasted onions and 5 bay leaves. Now let this simmer for at least 3 hours. After that, pour the broth on a sieve that's laid with a clean kitchen paper. Let this drain for at least half an hour to be sure that you don't waste a single drop. Then pour it in a clean pan and reduce it until it has reached the desired flavor. Give it a little taste and when necessary, season with salt. Now weigh the total amount of liquid you have and pour it back into the pan. For every 100 grams of broth, you need to add 1 gram of agar powder. Mix this and then bring it to a boil for 1 minute. Now pour it in an oven dish and let it set in your fridge. Once it's set, transfer it into a blender and blender it into a smooth gel. Then put it in a piping bag and keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the slow cooked leek. Begin by separating the green part from the white part of 5 leeks. Keep the green part for later. Then take 5 pieces of aluminium foil. Now place the white part of the leek on the foil and season it with a drizzle of olive oil, some salt and 2 lemon peels. Then roll this really tight and repeat the process we just did with the remaining leeks. Now transfer them on an oven rack and cook them at 150 degrees Celsius for 50 minutes. Once they're cooked, take them out of the aluminium foil and remove the lemon peel. Then pull the inside of the leek out and be sure that it's the same size on all the leeks. Now let it cool down in your fridge and keep the trimmings of the leek for later. Once the leek has cooled down, portion it into pieces that are around 1 cm and keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the green leek puree. Begin by cutting the green leeks in half and wash them under cold water. Then chop them into thin slices. Now heat up a big pan and add the chopped leeks, 150 grams of white wine, 250 grams of chicken stock and 4 grams of salt. Cover this with some parchment paper and let all the liquid reduce on a low heat. Meanwhile, pick enough parsley leaves for 25 grams. Once all the liquid has reduced and the leek is cooked, transfer it into a blender together with the parsley leaves. Now blender this till it's completely smooth. Season it with a touch of white wine vinegar to make it fresh and vibrant and mix it for another minute. Then press it through a fine sieve and use a ladle to make it a little bit easier. Now cover it with plastic foil and keep it in your fridge for later. Then for the pomme souffle, first peel one big waxy potato. Now cut it in thin slices that are around 1 milliliter on a mandolin. Lay the slices in 4 rows on your worktop and dust a layer of potato starch on 2 rows. Now brush all the potato starch off. Brush a super thin layer of egg white on the other 2 rows. 
Then place the two slices on top of each other with the potato star side facing the egg white side. Now cut the slices with a small round cutter. Then remove the trimmings and transfer the rounds on the side of a tray. Now be sure that you have some hot oil that's 170 degrees Celsius ready. Throw a couple of the potato slices in the oil and directly start basting it to ensure that the potato will souffle. Once they're nice and golden, take them out of the oil and lay them on a clean kitchen paper. Season with salt and keep them dry and covered for later. Now for the confit potato. First peel a couple of waxy potatoes. Then cut them into the desired size. After that, cut them with a small round cutter that has the same size as your cut leek. Keep all the trimmings in some cold water for later. Now place a parchment paper in an oven dish and put your potato rounds on top. Season the top with salt and submerge them completely with neutral oil. Then also add 5 strings of thyme and 4 cloves of garlic that are cut in half. Now cook it at 120 degrees Celsius for 1.5 hours. Once cooked, take them out of the oil and keep them in your fridge for later. Then for the Vissezois sauce. Weigh 400 grams of the potato trimmings in a pan and also add 200 grams of the leek trimmings, 500 grams of cream, 900 grams of chicken stock and 10 grams of salt. Now cut one onion in half and clean it. Then chop it. Now add the chopped onion to the pan and reduce this for one third. Then blend this till it's smooth and check the sauce for seasoning. Then we can start to finish the dish. First transfer the potato and leek on a tray and heat it up at 160 degrees Celsius for 4 to 5 minutes. Then start laying the rounds on a plate. After that, pipe small dots of the onion gel on the leek. Then pipe green leek cream on the potato. Both gel and cream are at room temperature. Now decorate the cream with the parsley crabs and place the pomme souffle on the onion gel. And now finish the dish with the hot Vissezois sauce. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like and share the video. And subscribe if you want to support my channel and see more amazing cooking videos. And as always, bon appetit!